Hi, I'm Tammy, and welcome back to Tammy's Cooking Journal. As you can see, it's raining and it's a little bit cold out. Speaking of the cold, I have a sweet treat that made from kumquat that helps soothe an itchy or sore throat or scratchy throat. And um, I'm going to pick some of these in and we'll show you how to make it. Pour in one tablespoon of salt in about one gallon, about two and a half liter of water, and soak the kumquat in for about 20 minutes. Ginger is optional. If you don't like it, you don't have to put it in. I like the taste of ginger, so I'm gonna put in, and here I have about a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna cut them in very thin strips and for the kumquat I cut them in half and then I slide them in thin strips but as you can see that I try to get more of the peel than the flesh because too much flesh later on when you cook on the stove is gonna take forever so here I'm gonna measure to see how many cups of kumquat that I have And it looks like I have two cups. And for the ginger, I have about a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna use half of a cup of sugar. The ratio is every four cups of kumquat, you use one cup of sugar. Then I mix everything up and let it sit for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is how it looks like. And then I just pour it into a pan or skillet and cook on low heat. Once in a while, you need to stir them up. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. And again, for the ratio of the kumquat, it's every 4 cups of kumquat, you're going to need 1 cup of sugar. However, you can adjust the sugar amount depends on how sweet you want it. If you want sweeter, you can add more sugar. If you want less sweet, you add less sugar. And this is 20 minutes after the moment that I placed the pan on the heat until now. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit thicker. You don't see as much water or the um, sugar solution. At this point, you need to stir it constantly for about two more minutes, and then you can turn off the stove. After you turn off the stove, the heat from the stove and the pan still can make it burn. So then you just keep stirring for another minute or so. And then it's done. So just let it cool down completely and then you can pour into a glass jar or container. This is also one of the items that you can see on a candy tray on Vietnamese New Year. However, on the New Year candy tray, we don't leave it in the glass jar, but make it into little kumquat balls as you can see what I'm doing right now. This candied kumquat is very helpful for your itchy or scratchy throat. It's not hard to make at all and there's no secret in the recipe. So just get yourself some kumquat and get rid of all the irritations of itchy throat. And that is how I made the candy kumquat. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.